Hey guys, this is Mr. Post, and uh, today's video I plan on doing a couple electron configurations of energy level 4, and also including some that are in the third energy level, the d orbital, something we haven't covered yet. Alright, so let's just start the uh, ground rules off. I'm going to write down a 1, 2, 3, 4. This is where I intend to get up to today for my electron configurations. The first example I want to do is going to be calcium. Just to lay the framework down, a little reminder, these are the s orbitals. In the middle, we haven't really dealt with these yet, okay? So let's give them a name now. Finally going to get here today, these are the d orbitals. And lastly, we have the p orbitals over here. And if you're even curious, down at the bottom, we have the f orbitals. And if you listen carefully, you can hear my son crying in the background, all right? So if you happen to hear him crying, he's, uh, he's doing his stuff in the background. Okay, so let's start off. We have, we're going to take a look at calcium. Let's identify calcium. It's right here. Okay, just so you know where we're going to today, we're going to be traveling all the way there. We're not going to be doing every element in this fourth energy level, but we're going to do a few in the fourth energy level, so we're going to start off with calcium. Calcium is element number 20. 20 means that it has 20 electrons to be placed. The first two electrons are going to be placed in the first energy level, the s orbital. And I'm going to place two there. And if you recall from the previous videos, helium is actually located over here for this lesson. So here's helium. It's located over there. Okay, 1s2. That takes care of the first two electrons. And the second energy level, the next two electrons will be placed in the s orbital as well. That's a 2s2. And we're also going to fill up the p's, the p6s. Okay, I've placed six electrons in the p orbital. So therefore, I have placed so far two electrons in the 1s orbital, two electrons in the 2s orbital, and six electrons in the 2p orbital. So altogether, I have 10 electrons placed. I have 10 more to go. Where is the next few going to go? I'm going to write right down here. On the third energy level, the s orbital is going to hold 1, 2. Okay, now let's travel into the p's. On the third energy level, the p can hold 6 electrons. 3s2, p6, and lastly, that leaves us off with, right here, 4s2. Fourth energy level, the s orbital will hold 2 electrons. So this is the electron configuration of calcium. So 1s2, 2s2, p6, 3s2, p6, 4s2, that tells me where the 20 electrons that calcium has are located in its electrons cloud. I'm using the periodic table to help me figure out where they're located. The next electron we're going to take a look at is going to be, let's take a look at element number 28, nickel. All right, so nickel has 28 electrons, 28 protons. And where are those electrons going to be located? Okay, 28 electrons. Let's place them. First energy level, as we know by now, will hold two electrons. The second energy level, the s orbital, can hold two electrons too. One, two, in the s orbital. I'm going across now into the p orbital. The p orbital will hold six electrons. Two s, two, two p six. On the third energy level, in the s orbital, I can hold two electrons. So I write that down. Third energy level, the s orbital holding two electrons. Okay, the third energy level, the p orbital is going to hold six electrons. Awesome. So third energy level is filled. Let's go to the fourth energy level. We fill up the 4s. Four four, fourth energy level, the s orbital will hold two electrons. Here we go. A big little, a big little shift for us. We're going to take a break from the fourth energy level right there. We're actually going to dive back into the third energy level and enter into the d orbital. That's right, you see the letter right here. This is the d orbital. How many deep am I into the d orbital? The d orbital can hold 10 electrons. I'm going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 deep into the d orbital. Meaning, the third energy level, yes, it's the third energy level, the d orbital will have 8 electrons. So the electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, p6, 3s2, p6, 4s2. Yes, a little disclaimer here. This is the, this is correct. On the fourth level, you are going to see a 3D. 
And you're going to note that in every single one of my examples here, there's a 3D on the 4th level, a 4D on the 5th level, a 5D on the 6th level of the periodic table, and a 6D on technically the 7th level of the periodic table. So electron configuration is true and it is correct. Let's try another one. Okay, the last one we're going to do an example of, in this case, is going to be bromine. Bromine is element number 35, 35 protons, 35 electrons. Let's dive into bromine. Bromine has 35 electrons in place. The first two are going to go in the first energy level, the S orbital, it will hold two electrons. Let's go through the routine. Boom. First energy level is filled up. The second energy level, the S orbital, will also hold two electrons. Let's place them there. One, two. Now we're going to go over now, fill up the second energy level, the P orbital can hold six electrons. Excellent. Six electrons are filled. Second, <laughs> there's my boy in the background, showing his lungs off again. Alright, the next place we're going to put an electron, the second energy level is filled, is going to be the third energy level. The S orbital will hold two electrons. Okay, after that we're going to fill up the P orbital, the third energy level, the P orbital is now filled. Three P6. Awesome. I put six electrons in the P orbital. The next place to put electrons are going to be the fourth energy level. The fourth energy level, the S orbital will hold two electrons. Fourth energy level, S orbital will hold two electrons. I'm now going to dive back into the third energy level in the D orbital. And I'm going to fill up, you can count the boxes, there's ten of them. And it is known as the 3D10. Now we're back into the fours again, the fourth energy level, the p orbital, and I'm one, two, three, four, five. All right, and that's going to be four, p, five. You guys, I'm just going to take this right here and draw it down here. Three d ten goes to four, p, five. So the electron configuration of bromine is one s two, two s two. P6, 3s2, P6, 4s2, 3d10, and I'm going down here now, 4p5. That tells where the 35 electrons that bromine has is located. That's all for tonight, guys. Best wishes. Hope this was helpful.